What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about some of my favorite video games from when I was a kid. Let's get right into this. Up first is the True Crime games. I absolutely love them. I only remember them being about two games. And there was True Crime LA and True Crime New York City. I believe that was it. I absolutely love True Crime New York City. I absolutely loved both games, but New York City, in my opinion, was a better game altogether. Now, this game here, for those that don't know what it is, it is basically a police officer that you're in control of, your character, and if you play the story, you find out the truth about your character and different things like that. You get to unlock different techniques that you guys can use, which was really cool. Or you could play it as kind of like a free play game, kind of like Grand Theft Auto. You could go and arrest civilians and plant evidence like drugs on them just to make your weekly payroll. You could go and clear out crime in the city. So there was a lot of police stuff in it. I more just like I did whenever I was playing GTA back then loved the free play aspect. I thought it was a totally great game and I honestly wish they were to remake this game because I think that honestly would be a lot of fun. The next game is an NES game, and that is Kirby's Adventures. I absolutely love this game. I love always going in and going through the missions. Some of the tricky ones were really hard whenever the penguin would drop the bombs down on you. That was a little bit tricky back then for me. However, playing it on the Switch now is a lot easier than whenever I used to play it on the NES. So I don't know if the gameplay just flows a little bit better, but I'm able to get farther in the game whenever I'm playing the Switch rather than whenever I used to actually play it on the actual NES. Regardless, the game is amazing. I absolutely love taking over your enemy's powers. And basically, when you swallow an enemy, you get their power, whatever it was. And I think that's just a cool concept behind it. I absolutely love the game. And like I just said, I am playing it on the Switch as well, because if you have online on the Switch, you have Super Nintendo Entertainment System and the NES as well a whole catalog of games that you can play. So I absolutely love playing Kirby's Adventures. Next is another PlayStation 2 game, and so that is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I absolutely love GTA, but out of all the GTAs, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is by far my favorite. In my opinion, it has the most stuff that you can do in the game. The story is amazing. However, I never actually beat the game and finished the story until I had played the PlayStation 4 version. I remember playing it on the PS2 and just kind of going around the city doing free play. On the PS3, I attempted it a little bit, but I still didn't like how it was played. On the PS4, they basically overhauled it, and even though it wasn't a remastered, it was still the same graphics and gameplay, it just flowed a little bit better, and I was able to beat and platinum the game on the PS4. The story for me is amazing. Everything from the driving, the cars, and even things like going to the gym and going to a boxing gym and fighting was a little bit more advanced. And that's stuff that GTA never brought back in future games. Even with GTA 5, it's still a great game. However, you can't really change your physical appearance in GTA 5 like you could in GTA San Andreas. You could go if you were to eat out a lot, your guy would gain a lot of weight and become fat. If you went to the gym, you could gain a lot of muscles or you could become skinny if you just basically neglected everything. So that concept was cool. So I absolutely love this game and played it a lot when I was a kid, but I never beat the game until the PS4 version. Now the next game has since been discontinued. However, I just wish they were to bring it back because it was by far my favorite racing games of all time. And that is Midnight Club. But this game here was Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. So it was basically the ultimate version of a game back in the day. Kind of like today they have the standard version and then the deluxe and then the almost like ultra deluxe. That's kind of how this game is in my opinion. So Midnight Club 3 would have been the standard edition. Dub Edition was an actual company that made custom cars. So they made that as a bonus kind of like a deluxe feature. And then the ultra feature was Dub Edition Remix. So Remix just meant that they added a ton more cars, customization options, races, and different things like that. So all in all, 
This was my favorite racing game back when I was a kid. I absolutely loved it. It was a lot of fun. It also included races that were pink slip races, which I have not seen back in a racing game since this game, which was a lot of fun. So you would soup up your car, you would race for pink slips. If you won, you won your opponent's car. If you lost, you just lost your car. So that whole concept would be amazing in today's racing games. It's just I've never seen it pink slip races back in the games since this game. Like I've already mentioned, this game was incredible because I love collecting all of the cars in the game. This game here, you could purchase every single car in the game, which they had hundreds of cars. So there was enough slots that you could have every one and fully customize them, which is what I loved to do. And I remember spending hours on this game. And the next game is one that I had to narrow it down to just this game, and that is SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. I absolutely love all wrestling games, and I've played them all from the early ones up until the current ones. And this one here is by far my favorite one from when I was a kid. It was the last year that the general manager mode was in the wrestling games, which I absolutely loved. Taking control of a single brand and building it to be GM of the year. I absolutely loved that. A lot of the wrestlers in the game were some of my favorite wrestlers because that was back when I was heavily devoted to wrestling, watched SmackDown and Raw every single week, so I absolutely love everybody that is in the video game. Currently, I am still a wrestling fan, it's just I don't watch WWE anymore, I just get the updates right now. I haven't watched a Raw or SmackDown in probably close to five years but I still love everything wrestling and I still play the video games to this day. But this one here is by far my favorite wrestling game of all time. And it's definitely one of my favorite video games from back when I was a kid. So these are some of my favorite video games from when I was a kid. Like I said, whenever I made my list of my favorite video games from back when I was a kid, I made a list of about 10 games. But for the sake of this video, I only wanted to share with you five because I knew if I shared all 10, it would be a super long video. So instead, I decided to split this up into two videos. So in the future, I'll make another one sharing the other five video games that I loved as a kid and consider them to be my favorite ones from when I was a kid. And they are very interesting as well. I can't wait to share that with you. Hope you guys liked this video. Comment down below what your favorite video games were as a kid. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.